Good morning. I am Gary Hibbard, the service manager here at I-69 Motorsports, and today we want to use take the opportunity to show you how important the air filtration on your machine is. Um, we have here a machine that had a very, very small gap in the air intake into the cylinder and caused dirt to get into the cylinder, allowing it to get into the engine and completely ruin the engine. So what we got here is, this is your cylinder head and in the valve area, you can see dirt build up all around the valves, all around the base of the cylinder here. This is your piston. This side you have your normal carbon build up, which is every day, you'll see that in any engine. But on this side, if you'll notice, you have just dirt burnt into the piston. That's how much dirt went into the engine. So what's happened here is, as you try to turn it, the engine is completely locked to the, the piston rod is locked to the um, crankshaft, not allowing anything to turn. Therefore, I mean, it's totally devastated this engine. It's gonna have to have a complete new long block, whole engine replaced simply because the air intake tube where it clamps into the cylinder head had come loose and it had just a very, very minute gap allowing all that dirt to bypass the air filter and go directly into the cylinder. If you can look into the intake of the cylinder head, you can also see all of the dirt that has gone in here versus this side that was still clamped is perfectly clean. So what you wanna do, we wanna show everyone how important it is to just do a pre-ride inspection. Every time you go out in your machine, look at your air filter, number one. Look at all of your air filter tubes. Make sure the clamping points are good in place. There's no gaps, no anything loose that can come off. And it's always better to go over, check your fluids, check uh, all your nuts and bolts in the suspension. Uh, take the time to do it right and you can go out and you can have a good day, not have to worry about any breakdowns, any incidents like this. This is probably the worst thing that can happen um, and it could have been taken care of simply by doing a simple pre-ride inspection. 